The Scarlet Knights arrived in Columbus as if on a business trip, because they were. Their business was taking on the number three team in the country, and they fully believed they would win. Excitement and opportunity thrive in the Big Ten and quite possibly the best division in college football. This was the time for the coaches to reinforce the principles of Rutgers football, to put the game plans and practice field lessons to the test against a premier program, to measure how far they've grown and still need to grow, the work ready to be displayed in play in prime time. Saturday night under the lights in Columbus. This was a big task for Greg Schiano's young program, but the Scarlet Knights have already shown they don't believe in moral victories. They play and expect to win. Ohio State did strike first, but the Buckeyes learned Rutgers would strike back. That is the essence of the Scarlet Knights' attitude, not just from game to game, but from play to play and series to series. They work to figure it out together. Here a little reverse, Crookshank. He's the speedster. Oh, he stayed on his feet. Down the sideline. What a play. And here's another way to get him involved in the pass game. And Crookshank again refusing to go down. It is straight down the middle. They were on the board. But they would slip further behind as some other drives were less successful. Yet the drive to succeed remained. The network audience was seeing glimpses of a program being built of their diligence. They were also getting a peek at things to come in the second half. Right now, show everybody what we are. You understand me? Yes, sir. Show me who we are. Yes, sir. Come on, guys. Who they are is Rutgers. Jersey strong with Jersey pride and ingenuity on display. Little fake play and that worked very well. Into the hands of Pacheco. And Pacheco in a foot race. Pacheco inside the 10 oh. and just caught. Federal. Another trick play. How about this? Throwing it back to the left to the big man, Rayquan O'Neal, the left tackle. Greg Schiano continues to show a different style of play here in the third quarter. He's really doing a nice job trying to lead these men to see where they're at, stacking up against one of the best in the nation. They keep chopping. Coaching is teaching. Well-coached teams get better from season to season and game to game, and even from half to half. They cut down on first-half mistakes and continued to showcase one of the most exciting offenses in the country with this ESPN Top 10 play call. Drew Chrisman the punt, good spiraling kick. He turns, throws it back across the field to Bo Milton. Milton to the 50, cuts back to the 40, across the field, Milton to the 30, Milton to the 25, 20, Milton to the 10, <laughs> Milton's gonna score! The second half, Rutgers has pulled every trick out of their bag. That might be the biggest one of the night, and it works to perfection. Oh my goodness, an incredible being prepared breeds confidence. Confidence allows players to relax. Relaxed players have fun. Rutgers found their footing on both sides of the ball and struck again. You know, we talked about Greg Schiano, but Sean Gleason is really the new young offensive mastermind at 36 years of age. He was at Princeton and then last year at Oklahoma State. Greg Schiano lured him to Jersey. Well, he's from that area, right? And what do he say? He said, he said something about these Jersey guys. They just want to come home and coach. And their influence was evident. The broadcast took note of the no-quit approach of Coach Schiano and his staff, revealed by the guys on the field, learning lessons, and making plays. It's been a tale of two halves. And the ball popped free there, and Rutgers has it. The chopping continues. Ah, I love this. There's been a lot of stuff that has been just pure football that they've been successful on against the number three team in the country. They've got a lot to build upon as they face Illinois next week. 